I'm Generic by Stone Genius, and today we're going to talk about smelting. Smelting is a huge part of Minecraft, and it's very time-consuming, as you need to place your items into the furnace, and then when they're done smelting, you need to empty them and put new items in the furnace to continue smelting them. A faster way to smelt is super smelters, which you have probably seen plenty of designs for already. However, these designs are very resource expensive and time consuming to build. So I'll show off some faster ways to smelt stuff that aren't as time consuming and expensive as super smelters. For starters, we have this design, which is you simply place a few stacks of items in the top, and you'll see that they get evenly distributed amongst these furnaces. And then when they're done, they go into the chest at the bottom. There's also this design, which you might not think is that much faster than a normal um, furnace. However, it is because you can put a few stacks in and then just walk away and it'll be done smelting when you come back. You can also use a double version of this, which is just two um, chests, two furnaces, and two hoppers. And you can also have a little area for all of these designs that you can put coal that goes into the furnaces. That's if you're smelting a lot of items. Quick side note, but all the bottom um, hoppers that go into the chest can look like this as well, or they can be done the way shown in the video, it's your choice. These um, super smelter, uh, main super smelters or smelting arrays are quite simple to build. It's just a chest, hopper, furnace, um, hopper, chest, and that's just the same thing but twice. However, this one's a little bit more complex, so I'll do a quick tutorial on it. What you'll need is everything in my hotbar, and then what you're going to, plus a building block. So what we're going to do is we're going to place in the four chests at the bottom and hoppers, four furnaces. Obviously you need to shift click so that you cannot, um, so you don't accidentally like go into it. You need to shift click. Then what we need to do is put in four power rails, which are temporary. And then you kind of need to make sure they spread out a little bit just by pushing them, like just like a little bit. Uh, that should be good. And what you can do is place in uh, your building block here, place in the two chests off of it like that. And we can place in a stack of items and we can make sure they get distributed so it doesn't get distributed into that one. So what you need to do is break it and just kind of like shift it a little bit. Then we take out the items. So this is just a little bit of a testing phase. Um, it should be screen right now. So this should work now. Yep, now it's working. And now that it's like in place, you can remove these rails. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's just um, a much better way to smelt because even if you do something simple like this, it's still automatic and you don't have to do it manually. And of course for this one as well, if you'd like, you can place it in something like this so that you can put, um, have more coal. That's if you'd like to. But yeah, I've been the Generic Redstone Genius and I'll catch you guys in the next one.